Hey guys, welcome back to Life on the Eddie Family Farm. So I got my sidekick here with me. She is, we just roaming around. We're just driving around, doing really nothing, just driving around. And it's almost my birthday. Yeah, it is almost your birthday. Two more weeks. Yeah. Oh, I found some guineas. Look, they're hiding back here. You see all of our cactus? You'd think we was in Arizona. I seen some guineas back in there. And I'm gonna turn four. Yeah, no. How old are you gonna be? Six. Six. So I'm yes. Zero. Yep. She's like, yep. She'll only be six for a little bit longer. Then she's gonna turn seven. So, what do you want for your birthday? I need some hints because I don't even have your gift yet. Um, a stitch pillow. A stitch pillow. And a stitch blanket. So you like Stitch? Yes. From Lilo and Stitch? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, you like LOL stuff too? Yeah, and um, uh, princess, uh, princess, uh, princess, you know those Anna little dolls? Like from Frozen Anna? Yeah, Frozen Anna, um, you know the, this can was dolls, the one doll? Oh really? Yeah. The little ones? Yeah, I want um, the Elsa and Anna. Elsa and Anna? Yeah. So pretty much she likes a lot of Disney stuff. She likes Lilo and Stitch. She likes, which mostly Stitch. Yeah. She likes um, Princesses. Princesses and um, Elsa and Anna from Frozen and LOL stuff. Which is kind of long. So. I guess I have my work cut out for me. I'm gonna have to go find some stuff, huh? Yeah, you have to make a list. Make a list. Well, I will be putting some stuff though on her Amazon wish list. Um, I haven't got to it yet. I got a few things um, like coloring books and stuff that you can take to the ball field once the kiddos, once you're out of T-ball and you have to sit there and watch them. Um, I figured coloring books would be a good thing to take to T-ball. Or to ball games? Yeah. Yeah. So I got a few things. I'm just, I know some people ask about wish lists and stuff, and that's just some things that I'm gonna be able to put on there. But, anyways, you wanna go check on the animals? Yes. Yes. Can we go check the um, eggs? Yeah, we can go check Yay. the eggs. We'll check them, but we're gonna leave them in there because they don't really lay all their eggs until evening. And it's just too early right now, okay? Yeah. Everyone's trying to wake up. Yeah. Here we are. They're so nice and pretty. We got this one, Mom. Is there any eggs in there? No? We need to get some of those little nesting dills for them. Nothing. Nothing today. Nothing in my favorite chickens. Yeah. But they have some, they do have some laying pellets and then they have regular, how do they get in here? Right there. Regular food in there. They got regular food. That's called sitting. But that's the rooster. And I don't, yeah, see, he's not sitting on anything. No, he's nice. Ooh, leave him in there. Yeah. We'll leave him in there for right now. They might, may have some more. Just three in here. Yep, just three. But that's pretty good with only four hens, because I know they were checked last night. So they got a little bit of time for one more egg. Moving on to these guys. Be better with here. Can you get her or you need help? I think you got it. There you go. Just hook it on the fence. That's what I always do. 
Yep. And did you see what I saw? You see an egg? Well, I see one right there. And look in there! Oh, wow, three. Fake egg. Fake egg. Five, six, seven. We have seven. seven. Seven? Well, there's only four in here, and there's only four hens. So it looks like they laid all their eggs today. Yep. All right. And lock it back. Oh, that sound sounds like there's more eggs down there. There we go. What? Look in there. Do you see that? Oh, yep, I do. <laughs> Alright, Jubilees, don't jump out at us. I know. How many is that? Two? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, and there's one, two, three, four, five hens. That's pretty good odds. So two laid. So one of them had two laid two eggs. Yeah. I'll shed it for you. You will. All right. Almost. You need to get it? I think your knuckle's getting in the way. All right, just move your fingers. Oh, you can still help. There you go. Now push. Push. There you go. This is the pin where someone is kind of mean to us, so we let Dad go in this pen. I'm not scared. You're not scared? You want to go in there? Yeah. Are you sure? I'm scared of them. I don't know. But let's not go in there. Because he really, really got dad the other day, and I don't want him to get your legs. Okay? All right. All right, let's go look at these guys over here. Hey, Carly girl. You had a lot of eggs, because I see one egg right there. Yep. I said red. So Carly gets the most of the eggs that either... The chickens pecked at them and they're cracked or yeah they're rotten eggs they usually go in this pen he doesn't get more than one a day though because usually there's not any more than one hey jack or no you're jill hey hey jack and jill was the big one jill yep the big one's jill this one's jack someone when that was asking about y'all the other day I guess she wasn't on the last video, and they were like, "What? What'd y'all do with them?" Cause they was out. Yeah. Look at it. No, these two wasn't out. Sorry. They just wasn't in the video. Um. Carly, say sorry. You okay? Um. So Carly's head went all the way up to here, and it hit him. Oh. And I heard a knock. Like, you heard a knock, huh, Carly girl? He's all right, let's go see the rest of these. Yeah. Carly will like to follow us, cause she's like, um, when, when, when I was out here, um, when Lily and them were over, um, I saw someone beside me and I looked in the pen, and um, Carly was following, following us the whole way, and um, I thought Lily and Ayana thought that was a stranger walking by us. Oh my gosh. And we got so scared that we even ran up to the house and said. Um, we said, um, ah, someone's murdering our house. 
You're silly. And I ran as fast as I can and I just fell and bumped my knee. Oh my goodness. And I was out here and made a big old knee. Hi, and Princess Layla. 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 Wait, her last name can be Lay. Yeah. Because she's Layla. So, Badger is looking pretty furry. You can see, everybody can see. Well, what's going on is, well, it's just, I guess, I don't know if it's called drying out, but he's just getting his, he's still got his winter coat. And um, I actually sprayed him with the water hose the other day and he really liked it, he really enjoyed it. But here pretty soon, Brandon's gonna be clipping them. Um, for sure, we've done badger before. Well, we've done all of them before, but uh, socks was the hardest to do, but we are going to be actually clipping all of them again because it's just, it's getting hot. Today's in the 80s and it's just getting super, super warm for them to be able to just do anything. It's just miserable and it's, it's only going to get worse because it's only spring. It's not even summer yet, but that's what we're going to be doing in the days to come. What are y'all doing over here? So these guys got locked back up. I let them out for the storm, which it did storm, but it did, there was no tornadoes or anything. But we went ahead and got them put back up. We got all three boys with the one bigger mare in here. The only reason I separated um, the one mare was because she was a lot smaller. So she actually, I was like, where are you at? She was actually just being smaller. I didn't want her with these other ones. Even though we bought them all together, I just feel like she's smaller. She's the same size as Juliet. You can kind of see them right here. And I don't like, she is longer but she's just the same size and I don't want, you scared me. I don't want one of our bigger ponies to get onto her and if she goes to have a baby or something, it really hurt her. So that's why I decided to put all the females over here. Now this female, this female right now, right here, is not, she's a good size. She's not gonna have any problems with birth as far as I know. Um, <coughs> but she's a little bit feistier. She's not tame at all. All right, so let's moving on down the line. All right, where is Red apple. Red apple? Probably right there. She probably is. I'm gonna go check on her. Is she laying or not? Yeah, I don't like that she's in there or where I can't see her. So we're gonna actually walk around because that's weird for her to be inside the tunnel when it's hot outside. And, and it might be because it's shade. It's not really weird that she's out. It's just, and, um, I don't know. It's our first time, like, seeing her, not seeing her in the video. Yeah, first time not seeing her in the video, Braley said. So, we're going to walk around. Y'all what? Yeah, good job. I was about to say, watch out for snakes. She doing okay? No. I didn't think there was going to be any babies, but it was just a little bit weird that she wasn't with everybody else. I know. Hey, Acorn. Are you being a little tired in there? Huh? To them females? I see you biting on them and stuff. Wait, him? Yeah, I see you biting on them and stuff. No, no. No, no, okay? No, no. All right, we can make our way back around here. 
beautiful sight. It is going down though. So there is something though that um, it was a surprise on our main channel because it was just something we brought back from the expo and we were super excited about it, which is this um, goat, um, what would you call it? Like a goat shoot type thing. And I'm gonna take y'all over there. I think Brandon's working goats right now in it. And we're gonna go over there and see how they're doing it. What, Billy? Oh, he sees a chicken up there. There's a chicken up towards the front. So we'll go over here. I may have to go put some shorts on in a little bit. But we'll go through here because we can see the girls. Man, I have shorts on. Go ahead. They're coming up here. They are. They're very, very friendly. Toby's in here somewhere. Probably in the background. Yeah. Hi, girls. Wait, that's Hey, Stevie. That's the baby. That's little, little Ann. Hey, Juliet. Little Ann. That's what Layton named her. He named Twix and then Lil Ann. Y'all named the girls too, or some of them. So. And that's the girl, and I know. Yes. You're gonna name it because it was on his birthday, so he did get named. You're gonna mask the cupcake. We'll turn it around. The dogs may be over there on the other side with all the goats. What are you doing? Hi. Come here. Come here. Oh, there's Dixie. She, um, she ran up to her mom. What are you doing, sis? Hey. I bet Toby's laying in there, too. Nope. There's a chicken. There's a chicken. <laughs> Might be laying an egg or looking for its other egg. We found an egg in here earlier. The other day, I mean. Toby! Toby, Toby. Toby's right there. We're gonna go spy on him. Y'all gotta be quiet. Oh, he saw us. Yeah, let's get around these trees. Yeah, it's nice and cool down in here. Hi, Tub Tub. Tub Tub. Happy Easter morning. It's not Easter anymore. <laughs> what are you doing? Here, stay up here, sis. I know there's probably not any snakes in this area because everything, everybody's always down here, but. Aw, oh, look at him. He's like, leave me alone. I'm trying to get some rest. Mommy, go get that. Mm -hmm. Mommy. So it it is almost time to get little Ann spayed, just because one Toby's the dad and two she's too young to have babies. So um, the vet gave us when to actually get her done and everything. And well, I may go ahead and call Monday and set up a date, and then have to go get her spayed. But we're gonna get over here and I'm gonna show y'all this shoot system and what they're, these guys are up to and how it works. So we go in this way. This is the way the goats go in and turkeys, I guess. And then you can see Brandon and Layton's over here. Addison's been helping them. But they go through here, and then this stays open and goes out this way. So the goats roam in here, and then they go. So they actually come through here, and then this 
you can pull this right here back. See how it goes back? Okay, I'll pull it back. And this, you see it this way. I'm not going to open it because there's goats in there right now. But it will go all the way. Let me lock it back. This will go all the way back to right here. So the goats, we roam them up in here. And then they will stay in here until Layton or whoever's on this position will... You gotta untangle it. All right. Here you go. And then you don't have to do it, but... Okay, then let me, let me come around there. So Layton will actually pull this. He's gonna let some more goats in here. And then Addison, you wanna go and kinda make him come back this way. Right, so we'll get him in there kind of like this. We'll show him, turn around, turn around, turn around. There you go. Go in there, go in there, go in there. It's all right, it's all right, it's nice in there. <laughs> turn around, Brownie. Go in there, there you go. There you go, there you go, Brownie. Can you follow her? What are you doing? There's too many. You only want five or four. And that's how you do it. Hi, something's wrong oh. with Braylon. What's wrong with her? Oh, Braylon got stung again. Come here, sis. Come here, sis. No. Come here. No. Where'd you get stung at? <laughs> come here. Come here. Come here. Let's go get dad. Right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Did you not have shoes on, baby? It's inside the house. Oh, inside the house? Well, we have got a huge, huge problem with bees. I sent uh, Kevin a... Uh, I don't know. We got a huge problem with bees. I don't know where they're coming from. I don't know if we got a swarm here or what, but we got to do something. You're all right, huh? I'm gonna go take some Benadryl. So these are the bees that Braylee's actually allergic to and she will swell up big time. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her some Benadryl. It's and... always something, but the bees last year was bad as well. So we're gonna have to find some way to catch these bees because there's got to be a big nest of them somewhere around here so if you have any clue on how to catch bees i definitely need to know because we got hundreds of them out here that get in the house and stuff so we're gonna go ahead and take care of her yeah. all right got braley situated got her some benadryl and um she's taking it easy in the ac inside now um there's just there's bees everywhere and we're just trying to get that all figured out. But I wanted to show you all the rest of this. So we got them through here. And this little panel right here, you can go forward, but you can't back up. So like bigger goats, or at least maybe if we had one on this side too, they can't back up any farther. But we got a few in here. They're just waiting. And then we will pull them right into here where they will be weighed because... They step on that and it weighs them. And then you'll open these doors, which is an easy access. And then this way you can actually, if you want them out that way, or if you want them out this way, or if you want these ones that we thought they were done, they're not done, they can come back in here. But so they're actually turning this goat over now because they're actually gonna uh, clean her hooves and everything. <coughs> this is the first time, so the goats aren't really sure what Brandon's doing, but that's, it's pretty easy. You getting one in there? Yeah. So Layton's trying to, gotta get these other goats out of the way. Watch out, watch out, back up. So one will actually come in here only let one, sis. All right. 
And then that one weighs about 35. Yep, 35 pounds. That's so he will weight. write it down and we've got a book over here. I've been helping. <laughs> he will write it down. And then once Brandon's done with these ones over here, he'll let that one out and put another one in. So that's how that's been working. It's been doing really good. They've already gotten a few done and we haven't really had to switch them both from each side yet but that's because some of these mamas they have babies still and they have to stay in this pen but eventually we'll know we'll like which ones don't have babies or the ones and they can switch them up but we'll if you want to see like a more thorough video go to our main channel eddie family farm and you can see brayden actually working them but for now that's all I got for you. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, turn notification bell on, and subscribe. God bless.